y'all and welcome to the video and thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for joining me today to view another anti-MLM video on Beauty Counter. Today we're going to learn exactly how Beauty Counter recruits you to their big scam. I mean amazing business opportunity. <laughs> I gotta get that right. <laughs> you know, I thought I found the honeypot of information on my last video showing you their counterintelligence career plan guide, which proved the consultant's lies that they don't make money off of this and that when they in fact do. And showing you their sales and recruiting pyramids that they in fact have in their guide. Yeah, but you're not an MLM. Totally not a pyramid scheme. Got it. That video will be linked down below if you haven't seen it. It's juicy. But I do want to start off by saying that this video is for educational purposes, for commentary purposes, 100% my opinion. Don't send any hate to Beauty Counter or any of their consultants whatsoever. Again, this is for education and commentary purposes. And everything that I'm going to explain to you in this video is basically how all MLMs are set up. So if you are wondering how like certain MLMs run their business, they're like their business structure, this is pretty much it. It's the same all around for everyone. So if you are wondering how recruiting and all of that works, this is basically the guide. This one's just specific to Beauty Counter, but this is pretty much going to cover how it works for all of the MLMs. <laughs> Now, what I'm about to read to you is the Consultant Fundamentals Mentor Guide. What this is, is the training process, the training guide for someone who has already been in the business for a hot minute, has created a team below them. They have like Sue and Molly down here and then like their downlines and their downlines. So this is a mentor guide training process for them to, you know, just here we go. We're going to get into it. But right before we get into it, if you guys are loving anti-MLM videos from me then please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe it would mean so so much to me and let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, if you guys would love to go over this with me, I will have it linked down below. Plus, we're only going to focus on the recruiting aspect of the mentor guide. There is so much more information in here. So if you guys are curious to know the entire training process of their mentor guide, the people that have built the team, definitely check it out. You can get all the information there. And um, yeah, we're gonna focus on recruiting in this video. But first, let's read the beginning getting here. Congratulations on becoming a mentor. The mentor guide is here to help you lead your new consultants through our consultant fundamentals training program. We encourage you as a mentor to help your new consultants get started with training right away. With your support, knowledge, and encouragement, they will be much more successful. Own your business. Take control of your business. This requires preparation. Are you prepared to be a business owner? You can learn the systems that keep the business simple and easy to duplicate, but many people struggle with focus, limited beliefs, and lack of motivation. Changing your mindset can help you take control over all the areas of your business, and that leads to unlimited success. First off, really quick, if you guys haven't seen their income disclosure statement in my first video on Beauty Counter, I'll have that link down below. They don't make diddly squat, so there's no success. So, how are you going to take control? First, put in your full effort. Don't play the blame game and start coming up with all the reasons you can't be successful. The only name on your consultant account is yours. So it all starts with you. Treat your business like a business and it will become one. This means setting business hours. The hours you work your business should be planned and purposeful. If you want to build a stable team, set aside a minimum of 10 hours a week that consists of income producing activities like these. Sharing your business and inviting people to learn. Reaching out out to find new people, inviting people to host socials and try the products, following up with prospects and past clients, enrolling consultants and getting them started, providing customer service to your current clients and members by providing them opportunities to experience more of our products and supporting them in the products they are using. And lastly, using social media to provide valuable content that will attract more people to you. Now let me show you the intro to the sales cycle. Oh. <sighs> 
The beauty counter sales cycle is made up of five fundamental activities to grow your beauty counters business. It is important to understand each part of the beauty counter sales cycle in order to reach your full income potential. Prospect, scheduling, selling, recruiting, advancing. So prospecting is the act of connecting with people in order to grow your business, whether it is for sales, for referrals, or to recruit them as beauty counter consultants. Your success is directly tied to your commitment to prospecting. Scheduling is the act of making an appointment to discuss beauty counter with your prospects. There are many ways to schedule conversations and one-on-one appointments with the people you know. You can send an email or letter to all your friends, post a status update on your Facebook page, or pick up the phone and call. The key to scheduling meetings is personally following up. Selling is the act of sharing beauty counter products with potential clients and members. Each beauty counter product you sell makes a difference. Since people shop in different ways, you can offer several options for shopping with you. Socials, one-on-ones, and your own personal website. Recruiting is sharing information about the beauty counter mission and business opportunity. Recruiting consultants to your team is the lifeblood of a growing beauty counter business because it takes your efforts and multiplies them. Advancing is the act of growing your business and thus advancing within the career plan, which I will have that video linked below. As your scheduling, selling, and recruiting skills improve and you begin teaching others the basics of the business, you advance your career plan. Your success is dependent on the success of your team, so make every effort to ensure your team has the right tools and support needed from you and or your mentor. Yeah. Okay. So recruiting is the lifeblood, the lifeblood of growing a beauty counter business. Got it. But you're not a pyramid scheme. You're not an MLM. You're just direct sales. Got it. Now let's get into what I talk about a lot with people in MLMs, how they are taught to recruit friends and family first, you know, and how, you know, the Huns come into your messages and you haven't spoken to them since high school and they're like, hey hun, how you doing? You want to join my amazing business opportunity? Well, this is why, because they're being trained to do this. Exhibit A, build a list. The Beauty Counter Quick Start Guide introduces the concept of building your prospect contact list. Building your list is a continual process and you should be adding names as you think of them. Oh yeah, I remember a girl named Savannah from elementary school. I'm gonna write her name down. Coming at you soon, Savannah. I'll meet you in the DMs. You meet people every day, and these interactions bring opportunities to share beauty counter. In addition, there are hundreds of people you know, and it's just a matter of making a list to get started prospecting. Don't prejudge. Just make your Franks list. This is hilarious. Okay, so Franks, starting with F, is your friends from high school, college, Facebook, etc. Okay, relatives acquaintances, neighbors, kids contacts. So you want me to contact all of my child's friends? Is that what I'm hearing? That's disgusting out of all of them and very strange. And you guys see why MLMs are predatory? Um, ew. And then lastly, your spouse's contacts. So let me start contacting all of my spouse's best friends and try and get them to come join my amazing business opportunity. Got it. <laughs> so you will have a sizable list when you are finished. And and we recommend keeping an electronic copy on your computer so you can update and add to the list often. Take the time to consider each person and how you can best serve their needs as well as who will fit into different aspects of your business. For example, who on your list would make a great host? And why is that? This is important to consider when you are speaking with them so you can mention it in your conversation. Who would make a great consultant? Invite your friends to join you in building this company. You do not need to to be an expert or have lots of experience to ask your friends to join your team. So the leader tip over here on the side says, a prospect list is one of the most important tools that you can encourage your new consultants to use. This list is the foundation of their business. Take the time to encourage them to think of people from many areas of their lives and consider why these contacts would be a good fit and teach them how to reach out to these contacts appropriately. Show your list to them as added motivation and maybe share some 
some words to say when reaching out to people. <laughs> See, this is what I meant. Like, oh my God, I haven't remembered you since elementary school. Let's be best friends. Come join my team. Like, it's it's so predatory and disgusting. Like, these people are trying to live their life and now you're coming in trying to sell them some kind of like dream business opportunity that, you know, you guys give them like false hope that they're going to have uh, a side hustle, extra income. And again, if you look at their income disclosure statement, they don't make shit. Now, this is a good one. How to share your story, meaning how to empathize and how to say what you got to say to relate to the people you're trying to recruit. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Being able to tell your story of your why for joining Beauty Counter gives you the confidence you need to talk to people about your new business. People will relate to you before they listen to your message. At Beauty Counter, we too have a very powerful story and it is one that you can share as your story evolves. So if you are struggling with what to say, here are some thought starters to help you evaluate your Beauty Counter story. What first attracted you to Beauty Counter? Why are you convinced that you made the right choice? What are your immediate goals? What do you hope Beauty Counter will do for you and your family? Once you've created your story, practice it over and over again out loud and in your head so that it becomes very natural for you to talk about. That sounds honest. So much integrity there. <laughs> Leader tip. When your new consultants are confident in why they joined Beauty Counter, it will be much easier for them to overcome any challenges they face from discouraging friends. <laughs> you mean the friends that are like, hey, this is a scam, don't do it. And then your mentors are like, um, they're just being haters. They're just negative and you don't need negativity in your life, okay? You are in a group of badass women, forget them. But um, let's go ahead and read social media for beginners. Social media is the most efficient way to reach more people and share our products and message. There are definitely some key strategies that will lead to your success and certainly things you don't want to do as well. For instance, one of them is not spamming people with beauty counter overload, but they do it anyways. So they have some quick tips over here, which is like, have a good profile picture, yada yada. They also mention that your name should not include Beauty Counter. You should not have any images of Beauty Counter products on your platform. They say you are your own business, but here's the thing, if you actually have Beauty Counter on your page, it's a red flag to people. They're gonna be like, oh, this person only added me as a friend because they're gonna try and sell me a product. Oh, this person is an MLM. I don't want to be friends with them. So of course they hide that completely and they always, always talk about how much they love products and social media posts. And if you want to know more information, DM me. It's stuff like that. That's their strategy there. And the leader tip is that, are you setting a good example for your new consultants with your own social media strategy? Be sure you take a look at what they are sharing and comment and like their posts. Make sure they know and understand our social media guidelines and provide feedback as needed. I'm reading this only because in my last video where a beauty counter consultant educates me on why they're not an MLM and then I go ahead and just expose them for what they are. <laughs> uh, everyone that was liking the MLM Huns posts were other beauty counter consultants. That's it. Just other beauty counter consultants. So, oh yeah, it looks like people are on her side, but it's just more MLN huns. Now the next part is how to hold a social. And what a social is, is when you see your friends posting a Facebook live and they're like, hey, just hopping on to show you some products I've been loving. I'm going to wait a few minutes to wait for some more people to pop on. On, and then they just blankly stare and say, hey, Savannah, hey, Mary. Yeah, I'm just waiting for some more people to get on before I start talking about these products that I've been loving. That's a social. It's a tactic to get more people to come and watch what you're trying to sell. And it can also lead to, if people do sell, them having the opportunity to say, hey, you just bought for 
from me. But you know, I think you'd be a great person to have joined my business opportunity because you also get 25% off just for being a consultant. So if you want to keep on purchasing products, you have this great 25% off benefit. Plus, you have the advantage of also being able to sell to others and have a side hustle and make money. But again, you don't make money. For example, in their strategy down here, their line says, lastly, ask your host who may be interested in the business. And then on the evening of your social, be sure to ask every person during checkout if they'd be interested in learning more about the business. Exhibit A. I was correct. And like I said, a lot of the times that people come to you and all you're doing is purchasing a product, they will eventually come back to you and try to recruit you. It's just gonna happen. And the people that are less interested in actually building the team, the ones that don't really do the work, might not ask you, but nine times out of 10, they will come back to you and they will try to recruit you into their business. Now let's get into inviting 101 shall we? Recruiting is a skill that could be learned by anyone. In fact, because you are brand new, you are a perfect recruiter. Why? Because you can still vividly remember the feelings you had when you became interested in joining Beauty Counter as a consultant. Gag me. <laughs> You decided to get started because you saw a great opportunity for success and you have the ability to make a difference. Now, it's your turn to offer this same opportunity to others. There are three basic steps to recruiting and they really are easy. Number one is to inform. Tell people about the business opportunity at your socials and in your everyday encounters. Number two is to invite. Extend gracious invitations to join you and your team to begin growing their own beauty counter business by selling our products. And three is to connect. Have a conversation with lots of questions and listening on your part. So here's the leader tip <laughs> and where I have a comment. You want your new consultants to start inviting their friends and family to join them from the very beginning. Role play instances when you have invited others to join you, both yeses and noes. In fact, remind them how they felt when you first invited them to join you. Did they feel uncomfortable? Probably. Were they offended? Most likely. Of course not and neither will their prospects. You will need to remind them of this to build their confidence and knowing what they have to offer is something that many are looking for and need. No the fuck they don't. They don't need this whatsoever. Now here's the thing. They want you to start inviting your friends and family to join the team. The team sells products. The team sells the same products. Does this make any sense to you whatsoever? <laughs> So you want me to invite my friends and family who live in the exact same town as me and we're both trying to sell this one item to all these different people. Make it make sense. You're oversaturating your market by having more than one person in your town trying to sell product. That makes the whole point on why recruiting is the only way you make money. Because you just recruited five friends and five family members. You just made commission off of recruiting them and then buying their enrollment kit and then buying their startup products if they so choose. And then if they sell, you make a profit off of them. But who are they going to sell to? If you already have clients in your hometown that you're, if that you're selling to, who are the people that you just recruited in your hometown going to sell to? Over saturated market, it makes zero sense. So that's why recruiting is basically the only way they make money. So recruiting. By now, you have heard about recruiting and how important it can be to growing your business. Here are some additional tips to help you become more successful. Don't think of sharing only at your socials or during one-on-one -on -one conversations. At socials, offer the business opportunity every time you hear a compliment about Beauty Counter or about you. <laughs> Say thank you. I really love doing this. Have you ever thought about having your own business? I would love to tell you more about Beauty Counter. Use your list of contacts and consider who on your list you would like to work with and why they would make great consultants. Compliment people on why you think they would make a great consultant. Butter them up, okay? Butter them up. Always have something to invite interested people to. It's a great way to get their contact info as well. You can 
can say something like, can I get your seller email so I can message you an invite for my upcoming call, event, social, etc. Listen for the verbal cues that indicate that this would be a great fit. For example, if you hear, I think my sister would love to have a social, you could respond with, that's awesome. <laughs> you should consider joining me as a consultant so you can help her. Join my business opportunity so you can be just like me and then you can sell your sister. Why not just say, hey, your sister can buy from me. No, I want you to join so I can make money off of you first and then you can then sell to your sister where you make money off of your sister but then I also make money off of you selling to your sister. Got it. Don't wait for people to approach you. Nine times out of 10, they won't. It's your team, so go build it. So go to Facebook, start at A, end at Z, go as far as you can until you can't keep your eyes open anymore. And then when you wake up in the morning, drink some coffee and do it all over again. Create a recruiting culture on your team. Create a recruiting culture on your team by acknowledging and talking about it frequently. Make it a point to highlight new team members when they join and share their stories of why they joined Beauty Counter. When you do this, it points out the unique backgrounds and skills that each individual brings to the team. This helps your consultants see that more than one type of person who will be attracted to our opportunity. Be sure to also highlight the new mentors as well so they are excited and rewarded for doing the activities that build their businesses. Yes, highlight them, let them know that they're doing such an amazing job scamming people. Yes! So where to spend your time to grow your business? I'm just gonna go over the do's. Now let's look at revenue generating activities. Reaching out to people on your contact list, having a social, having a one-on-one, -on -one, making a product drop off, and following up on a lead. These activities will directly lead you to more sales, recruiting conversations, and new clients. Okay, you know, I am just learning so much today. How to earn and rank advance, the basic of the compensation plan. As your scheduling, selling, and recruiting skills improve and you start teaching others the ins and outs of a beauty counter business, you will advance in the career plan. Beauty Counter's career plan is very generous and rewards you for having a strong personal business as well as having a strong team. Again, see down below for the career plan guide and it'll explain all of that to you. Go check it out when you're done with this video. How to find more people. By this time, you are likely moving into the second month of your business and might be thinking that you are running through your list of the people you know to reach out to. There are lots of ways to meet new people. So I don't necessarily have the information on this um, because they want you to look at some kind of training thing that I don't have, but I can give you an idea. So this is when they go to Facebook groups, um, they go to like your county Facebook group, your town Facebook group, a Facebook group that has something to do with a hobby you like. Like I personally like going into my BoxyCharm group and I see people all the time trying to spin their business opportunity over there. People like to go to like groups like Bumble where they're trying to make friends and these people are preying on people being lonely trying to get them to join the business opportunity and sell them on community something that they need it's sick it's disgusting it's predatory end of story responding to objections when you are talking to potential hosts or consultants you may hear some objections I don't have time I don't like to sell I could never do what you do I don't know anyone I don't have the money to get started which they do encourage you a lot to open up a credit card because it's an investment towards your business please don't ever do that do any of these sound familiar? Often we freeze because we automatically think we need to solve the problem when really we need more information. We also need to first understand what the objection is really about. And one way to do this is to leap. Listen, empathize, ask, and produce. So listen is to listen to their objection. Empathize. Empathize with them by saying something like, I completely get where you're coming from. Our days are busier now than ever. No, they're not. The only reason why your days are busy 
busy is because you're spending all of your time trying to recruit people. Ask. Ask a clarifying question such as, how much time do you think it takes to do this? They may think it takes 20 hours a week. Produce. This is where you produce a solution. So in this example, you could say, the time you invest is really related to what you want out of it and how much time you're able to give. If you want to have a few hundred to a thousand dollars extra a month, I'd be happy to show you how you could do that by investing between five and ten hours a week in Beauty Counter. How would that sound? You do know that any kind of income claim that you could possibly make is illegal in an MLM and can be reported to the FTC. I will have a link down below if anyone in a MLM amazing business opportunity pyramid scheme is making some kind of income claim of how much money they make, you can report them. Thank you. Also, let's go back to the income disclosure statement. The only rank that is making $1,000 on average every single month, there's only 1.7% of them in the entire company. Well, definitely right away, you would not be making hundreds or a thousand dollars a month. Basic consultants that make up 82.2% of the company make on average $46 a month. Thank you. The senior consultant, which makes up 10.2% of the company, makes on average $336 a month. Now, this isn't expenses. This does not include the costs of your business cards they want you to buy or product they want you to buy so you can sample it out. Products they want you to have on hand so you can prove that you are trustworthy, that you are trying these products, so you're in debt. Asking more detailed, clarifying questions in the LEAP process really gets to the heart of the objection. You can do this simply by asking a clarifying question that begins with, tell me what or how to get to the root of the objection. How much time do you think it takes? Tell me how much time would you have? How many people do you think you need to know? What do you think about gathering a friend or two for a quick get together? The point is to not presume you understand their objection. By asking a clarifying question, you are allowing them to share their perspective so you can then educate them on the facts. Okay. One last point on objections. Don't feel as though you have to give the hard sell on Beauty Counter. We have an incredible mission and high performing products that resonate with thousands of people. Let the mission and products do the work for you. And if your prospects just aren't interested at this time, continue to provide them with excellent customer services clients. Now let's read about get over no. In this business, you're gonna hear no more than you hear yes makes sense. This is normal and you need to not let the no stop you. A no simply means I need more information. Again, no the fuck it doesn't. Remember when we shared the leap to overcome objections and how to use tell me what how questions to get to the root of someone's objection? If not, this is a good time to revisit it. Be confident in what Beauty Counter offers. Our gorgeous and high performing products, our focus on providing safe and non-toxic skincare and cosmetics, our passion for educating others on why safety is always a better choice, and a business opportunity like nothing else out there. Be confident in all of these things. No's are just a step toward another yes. First off, they said a business opportunity like nothing else out there. There's like hundreds of MLMs out there that are on the exact same business structure. There's lots of these out here, just saying. And also, no's are not a step towards yes. If I say no, no means no. And if you don't get off my page, block. So let's learn about building relationships. Building lasting relationships is a key to success in our business. You want people to trust you and to look at you as a resource. Here's a tip when meeting new people. Ask questions and be more interested than interesting. The next time you are in a social setting, think about form, family, occupation, recreation, and message. When you take the time to ask questions and get to know people in the first three areas, then it opens up the ability for you to share your message in a helpful and meaningful way, which means try and act like you're interested in them. And then when they think that you are interested, then you get them with the amazing business opportunity. So therefore they're a fake friend. So another way to try and recruit people is through referrals. So making referrals part of your business growth. The circles of people you know will only take you so far in relationship-based business like Beauty Counter. That is why referrals are so important.
it. Think about it. If you know 10 people and all those people know 10 other people that they could introduce you to, your network just grew exponentially. That's the power in referrals. Whether it's at your socials or one-on-one -on -one appointments, asking for referrals should be a part of your business building strategy. Asking is easy. Erica, Thanks so much for coming tonight. As I mentioned, we are a very young company and I'm always looking for ways to share our product and mission with more people. Can you think of a couple of people you think would either love to try our products or learn more about our company? I ran out of people to scam, Erica. Do you know who I can scam? I need more people. How to talk about the opportunity. If you want people to join your team, you need to ask. Don't assume your friends understand what you do or how they may become a affiliated with Beauty Counter, aka hassling the crap out of them. Think about it. Typically, when someone starts a new job, they can't call you up and hire you the next day. But in our business, you can. You can invite any one of your friends to join you and have their very own business at any time. They do not know this, so don't assume they will approach you. Approach them first. Listen. Leave those poor people alone. Active listening equals outstanding recruiting. You will hear the term recruiting or sponsoring a lot in our business as it is a foundational skill that helps to grow our influence and share our business person to person. It is important that you view this activity as something you do for someone and not to them. If you are truly excited about the business opportunity and have the intent to help others enjoy the same benefits, then you will never feel the need to convince someone to join you. Many successful consultants actually view the process as inviting people to join them either with our products or the business opportunity. When you view it as an invitation, you are always focused on what you are offering someone else and not what you stand to gain, which is money off of the backs of all the people you recruit and their sales and so forth and so on down under. Customer service equals retention. As a new consultant, you learn that the two most important ways to build your business are sales and recruiting. What you might not realize is how important it is to retain the clients you have as you continue to grow and build your business. Business. Retaining your clients who are using the skincare lines leads to continual repurchasing, a compound effect that grows your income. Helping those same clients experience the long-term benefits of safe beauty by introducing them to additional products will help your business grow exponentially. So sales techniques. Is your store open? Think about your business goals for the month. A great way to add to your income and build your brand is to share your store with all your friends and current clients and members. Pick a different product each week and highlight it on your Facebook wall. The more you highlight products, the more your friends will gain exposure to the variety of products you have to offer. They will begin to see your beauty counter business as a real business and not just a hobby. And lastly, social media identifying your target market. Are you attracting people to your business? Do you even know who you want to attract? Our most successful consultants are those who are very clear about the type of person they want to help and who they want to attract. Since new clients are a full point of your business, you need to be clear who they are, what motivates them, what do these people want and need, how can Beauty Counter fulfill those needs and wants. Craft your messaging so that it is directed at these people, which means relate to them. Spin your story however it seems fit for that specific person to build your trust. So you just swindle them. As you emerge as a leader, it is important for you to answer these same questions when it comes to the consultants on your team. What type of consultant do you want to attract? Remember that you are leading your business and the one in control of the strength and culture of your team. Are you attracting business builders? If not, why not? And what are you saying when you describe your business to people? Now that's the last one that I'm gonna go over in this video. Again, there is so much more information. There's 49 pages of this mentor training guide that you guys should definitely look over because this is basically the exact same thing that all MLMs get. So whether it's about Nat, whether it's Cincy, whether it's Beach Body, Young Living, Pure Romance, what have you, this is the basic structure that they're using. This is pretty much the universal structure, if you will. So again, if you're ever wondering how things are working behind the scenes, this is how it's working. This is not specific just to Beauty Counter. This is the business structure. This is the MLM pyramid scheme business structure. I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. And I hope that this really does educate you guys to learn and to be aware of your surroundings. And if a 
hun comes into your DMs trying to get you to buy or to try and get you to join the amazing business opportunity that you guys are literally just a dollar sign to them that that's all you are. It doesn't matter how much they relate to you. They're taught to do that and it's in this training guide and I just don't want to see anybody else get scammed out of these people. Now of course a lot of this stuff in here that says how to talk to your consultants and whatnot is where the brainwashing actually starts. So you'll see how exactly these clients get brainwashed and or I mean consultants. You'll see how the consultants get brainwashed and it's so sad because they really look up to their upline and where they get these people like I've said in past videos it's vulnerable people that they prey on. People that are looking for community. People that suffer with depression. Suffer with anxiety. These are the people that they prey on that are so vulnerable and are looking for community and that's where they get brainwashed to thinking that doing all of this is okay. So again, let me know down below. If you have any personal stories, I would love to hear them. Leave them below for sure. And if you don't feel comfortable, please send me a message over on Instagram. And um, yeah, that is it. If you did enjoy it, give this a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. It would mean so, so much to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.